Good afternoon and you're very welcome to Dewberry Park as we welcome the teams to contest the Ulster Bank Irish Junior All Ireland Junior Cup final. Yeah, as you can hear, it's a very healthy crowd here today. As Tullamore take to the pitch in their change strip. Tullamore are very experienced sides, both really very experienced sides at this level, Gordon. They've both been in the in the shake up over the last number of years in the, the Junior Cup. They are. Uh, Malavay will have more experience probably in the league playoffs than Tullamore. Tullamore have actually won this cup uh, before they were beaten in the uh, in, a, in a final in 2007-8 and then they, they beat Navin in a repeat of the final in 2009 so they've, they've won this cup before whereas Monave have just said the one appearance of the final when they lost last year 17-9 to Crosshaven but as I said they uh, led until injury time that's right I think we expect four seasons in an afternoon here as Gerald Connor prepares to drop off and start this cup final Drops deep into the 22 and run back by the very strong Adrian Hanley, the guard in the, in the town of Tullamore, one of their most experienced and, and strongest players. He's there as, uh, as a scrum half, which he uses. Taking for Tullamore, recycled again. Trevor now, oh, oh. that's nearly two, but it's been, it's been knocked on. And while the, the vo very vocal Tullamore support thought they might have run away to a fire there, that was unfortunately knocked on. It was a lovely pass out of the tackle over the top to try and set his winger free. That's an attempt at a drop goal. It's a fine strike, but just a little to the right and wide. But and the referee has Aaron decided no, no, there was no advantage. He had the penalty advantage. Took a snap drop. Yeah, it looked a very well struck effort. Yeah, I think he had the legs on it okay, just yeah. on the 10 metre line, so. From our viewpoint here, it was, looked to be pretty close, but the fairness is Stuart Gaffigan, the referee, he, was, he moved quickly to get it directly into line, and he judged that it had gone wide. So interesting, Tullamore have decided to go for a corner, for a line out. Perhaps he's not as long off the deck as he is off his drop goal, <laughs> but yeah. I thought he might take that one on. So now Jared O'Connor will have an advanced position, and that's half time. The score, this game scoreless. Tullamore would have been in the ascendancy territory, but they have failed to make that count, and it'll be interesting to see now if Monave can use the wind a bit better in the second half. Yeah, I think that's Ivor Deverell that's gone. It must have been an injury because I thought Ivor was having a particularly good game, actually. And those of you who are watching this on live streaming from Australia, but from the locality, may be interested to know that Gary Castle have beaten St. Bridget's in the All Ireland Club Gaelic final. Two local clubs to both of these teams. Ah, uh, very good and switch. That's good work between Brian Garrity and, and Daniel Garrity and Daniel and Draper, Colin Draper, sorry. Those two have combined very well on a number of occasions in this match. It's Tullamore again. Start the second half on top. Oh, that's that's poor. Snap drop goal attempt though, and that looks good, and it is good. There would be extra time if the, if the scores remain level. If they're still level after extra time, it's the team who scored the most tries. If they're still level then, it's the team who scored the first try. And finally it comes down to whoever has scored the first first points. So that gives Tullamore the first little bit of ascendancy, but they've knocked on their own 22 and give Monave a good attacking option. And now Monave have a penalty to chance to immediately reply. This looks Adrian as if it's Gerard O'Connor yeah. from Monave who's lining up this penalty chance. Just out of the 22. Strikes it nicely, nice. but he's but pushed it past the right-hand post. So it remains 3-0 to Tullamore. Has a chance now to run back at them. Takes it on strongly. Big man, Clavin. Again, Hanley, speaking of big men. Tullamore again, a bit more continuity now into their play. 
Richie Hughes and Davril has another go with the drop goal. It's a super kick and he's landed it. Would you believe it? That's two really smashing drop goals from Tullamore out of pretty much nothing. Taken well in the end, but Tullamore getting building up another head of steam here. Eddie Brady again very comfortable with ball in hand and drives forward well. And this could be a third drop goal. I don't believe it. It is. <laughs> that is quite extraordinary. Extraordinary. I certainly don't remember any match where the first three scores were drop goals going. <laughs> That was David Clavin, I think, wasn't it, on the left foot? And they've mixed it up well to give them their due as well, Gordon. They've, yeah. they've certainly stretched that ton of more defence, and here they go again. Yeah, they're, they're very well drilled. You, you expect nothing else from a side being coached by John Muldoon. Yeah, and Jerry Casey, who uh, was the head coach, who was uh, formerly backs coach with, with Chan, and you can see that they're, um, they are well drilled. Their hands have let them down on a couple of occasions, but. They vary their and game very well, and they're getting some reward here at last with a penalty. And now Stuart Gaffigan is going to call out the recently was arrived number 20 for Tullamore, Kevin Brown, yellow card, and now this will make it interesting. It certainly will, it, if they can bring this to 9-3. It could mean that, that uh, Tullamore play the rest of the game, only 14 men. Well struck, and this time he has made it. So the game is back in the melting pot. 9-3 now to Tullamore. Oh, now it's popped out. Comes forward, so it will be Tullamore ball. Referee looks at his watch and he blows the whistle. And Tullamore are the All Ireland Ulster Bank Junior Cup champions. So I'd just like to thank Gordon Black, my co-commentator, um, and uh, Ulster Bank for the sponsorship of the competition. And again, we'll just finally offer our congratulations to both teams, but in particular to Tullamore, who have won the Ulster Bank All-Ireland Junior Cup for the second time. Thanks very much for tuning in, and hopefully we'll see you again on IrishRugby.ie shortly.